Well, hello and welcome to the first video of this new tu new tutorial series. Um, the first few videos, or maybe three or four of them, will be looking at the servers that we're going to be using. Uh, so this is the first one. It's a Dell PowerEdge 2800 server. Uh, I've had this one for about a year. It works perfectly well. I don't know when about it was brought out. Somewhere in 2000. <laughs> I can't give you any more information than that. Um, so we'll take it apart and have a look at what's inside. I'll show you the specifications. So, uh, first of all, the front bezel comes off. And we have four hot swappable drives here. Um, I think one or two of them are 73 gigabytes. There's a 150 or something, and there's a 300. These all just pull out like this. They're all uh, 15,000 RPM and uh, 80 pin SCSI connectors. I don't use these ones, these are just blanks, like that. And to take the top off, we just undo these screws here. We can have a look inside. I've done this one up. Screwdriver. Right, there we go. I'm going to have to put this down. Here's the inside. It's absolutely huge. Um, it's incredibly heavy. I had trouble getting it up the stairs. So, first of all, I think the first thing you'll notice about these are everything's hot swappable so that uh, you don't have to take these servers offline. If one of the fans breaks, you can just um, pull them out like that and put a new one in. So to get this thing apart, first of all we have to take off this huge thing here. This is just like the uh, PCI expansion riser card. But they've got loads of different connectors on them. And it is the most heaviest part probably of the server apart from its actual case. These connectors are hard to undo. There we go, it's under this one. That for the hard drives. Which connect to this. So we can see there, this is something to do with telephones that just came with the server. And they're special PCIAX or something connectors. And there's just one PCI connector there. And then uh, here we just have a shroud that covers up the RAM. How, how did I? There we go. Just direct airflow. You can see here these are uh, 512 megabytes of, I think, just DDR RAM. So there's only a gig in here at the moment. I haven't bothered upgrade, upgrading it. And the next thing we can undo is uh, this here. You have to undo two clips, so I'm going to have to pull this down again. The 
this is just like the main fan assembly and those are the two fans there that blow through to the uh, CPU cooler and the other ones pull the air through from the hard drives and uh, pass it through all the PCI cards so there we have the heat sink and we also have another space there for another CPU and then that there is the uh, SCSI back plate uh, is there any point in me taking this off? probably not, I'm sure we all know what a CPU looks like but they're very easy to undo, just undo them there oh look, I don't know, I might as well do it These ones here are hot swappable as well. That's the main exhaust from the back. And uh, the last thing I suppose I can show you. Here they actually have um, hot swappable power supplies. So you can have two power supplies in the server and if one goes down you can just pull one out and it will still work. From that one there. See the fans there. So I don't think there's much else I can show you. Um, I'll have to look at what clock the CPU is at. It's an Intel Z on something anyway. So there's the first video of the server that we'll be using, and uh, check out the next one. Or, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now I've ended up putting it back together, and I suppose the last thing you want to uh, hear about is actually what it sounds like when it's turned on. So I thought I'd add that in for you guys. Just plug this in here and turn it on. There you go. Um, look at the next video for the next kind of take it apart of the server that we're going to be using. Bye.